get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore. It's no BS. It's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire. And we're here today to help you start kicking ass in real estate, right? So you don't have to be one of those people that shows up in the homeless guy videos getting free food and looking like a charity case, right? I mean, real estate can really be that bad. It can wear you out to where you want to go live on the friggin' street, right? You're tired of this shit. So look, I mean, the way to fix it is to get listings. Hey, real estate is all about listings. Trust me, I was one of the top agents. I was Remax's number one team agent in North Atlanta. I was one of the top agents in the world um, when I was with Remax. I was number 30, number 25 in the U.S., number 36 out of about 120,000 agents. And it's all because I get listings. I listed 107 one month, right? I'm a listing machine. When it comes to listings, truly, I'm that guy, right? So in order to do this, I realize it's not easy, right? Even if you've never listed a home before, if you've listed a million homes, there's seven little things you really need to know. Because you're going to find out it's all in the setup and a little bit on the delivery. And so I put together a really quick cheat sheet for you that you can download a little quick PDF. You can put it into play today. I'll tell you about it later. Um, it's the seven ways to get listings in 30 minutes or less and charge more than everybody else. It's brilliant. It's magic. Put it to work and use it for you. So, so stone gray paint. Who would have thought that would ever change my life? Well, it sure as hell did. You know, picture this real estate agent, right? A shitty night in Atlanta, Georgia, your typical freaking nine to five day traffic starting at 2 30 p.m idiot at six o'clock p.m sitting in friggin traffic trying to get to restoration hardware to pick up paint inching forward traffic in atlanta doesn't move traffic in atlanta sucks if you don't you know i don't give a shit i got badass cars doesn't care what you're driving i was driving a bmw i was sitting there phones ringing wife screaming she wants her paint painters waiting at the damn house uh, sell clients emailing relentlessly i mean i was about to fucking blow uh, holy shit i mean i can't it was the one of the worst days of my life but it was also one of the best days ever because i finally had enough of this shit right i finally had enough of the rushing around in real estate why because i was a guy that chased buyers I was a guy that did a listing here and there when it fell in my lap, but I just spent my time chasing buyers because I thought I, it's quick money with buyers. It's quick, but it's not consistent. And it totally fucks up your whole plan of building a business, right? You get away from the listings because you're stuck with buyers. So I had had enough. I had this huge epiphany right there in the car and that might sound disgusting to you, but <laughs> it was one of those mythical breakthroughs that you all hear about and wish you fucking have. I was free, man. I had enough. I didn't I, look, this was a drive that should have taken me 60 seconds and it took me almost two hours, right? I, I had enough. I was going on 80 hours a week. And I, honestly, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I turned around. I rushed my ass back to my home office, ran upstairs and <laughs> I started the process of elimination, the process of eliminating all the bullshit that I do in every day. And it's a real simple exercise that I can teach you how to do. It's something so easy. And it begins with taking out a sheet of paper and writing down everything that you do in a day and marking stuff as BS, like literally the initials BS bullshit. So you're telling yourself it's a time waster, right? I'm telling you from that point forward, my income went from five figures to six figures to seven figures. My weekends went from weekends at the damn computer to weekends on the lake on my little motor yacht, little 42 feet, right? And I went from driving that BMW to driving a McLaren. Uh, that's a pretty big ass jump. I don't think anybody would complain about that. And it wasn't brain surgery, right? It was knowing these little processes, you know, my subscribers, they know, they learn these little tricks from me and they know better than to tell me they've been on a three hour listing appointment. They know better than to tell me that they spent eight hours on the weekend uh, with chasing a buyer around. I mean, you, they transform their life because they develop a system for being organized to getting fucking listings and not working 80 hours a week. By the way, my hours worked went down from 80 hours a week to about 30 hours a week pretty damn good life. By the way, I did get the paint. 
They left it outside, locked on the dam, lo- the door locked, left it on the sidewalk for me. Several hundred dollars worth of restoration paint. What a fucking rip off that is. But that's what it is, right? You don't want to live like that, right? If you want to start experience life, like experiencing real treasures in life, just download and start with this little PDF I put together for you. Seven ways to list homes in 30 minutes or less and actually charge a hell of a lot more money in the process. So to get it, go to agentonfire.com. Put in your information, download it, it takes you two seconds. You can actually start using it right now. So it's at agentonfire.com right at the top of the page. You'd be an idiot if you didn't see it and you didn't download it. So thanks for tuning in. I'm glad to have you here with me and I'll think of some really good shit to talk about next time. Take care. This is the podcastfactory.com.